Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a, a software or a, an application that could help you to uh, to edit your PDF files. And this is will be beneficial for PhD and master students and also for bachelor as well. So, first of all, we need to write down the the app name or the site which is it's uh, Sejda S E G D A. Okay, Sejda. Okay, so this is the application. You see, Sejda helps with your PDF task. It's a it's a free website and uh, that helping you to edit your PDF easily and smoothly. So we press here. Now, as you can see, we enter to the to the website and what we are going to do is we will edit a PDF documents so it's a free application and uh, it's easy to use okay so we press on uh, edit to PDF format all right so what you are, what are you going to do now it's to upload any any PDF files that you want to edit it and uh, I want to save the change as well so we choose upload PDF file. Then uh, I have an I have an file here PDF file. I want to use it as an example here. So let's say uh, I choose this uh, file PDF file. Now it has been waiting to upload it. Okay, as you can see now, this is a form belongs to UTM University of Technology Malaysia, and you can see that. Uh, the application talking about how your appointment and external course supervisor. So this is just a form. It's just an example. So what I'm going to do now, I will explain in details what this uh, application or this software can do. So as you see here on the, the list on the booth of the documents, you can see. So for example, first we have text. So if you want to add any text, you just press text and choose any location in the form. Let's say you want to write down your name. You just press here, sorry, uh, press here, and you can see it's been edited. For example, I will write down uh, my name, the father. All right. Okay, so that's it. It's just that simple. So you need to mo move it any place you want. And you want to edit it, make it bold, make it light, make it elastic. You want to change the font. There's a lot of options over here. Even also, you can change the color as well. And uh, you can see also you can delete this uh, uh, this text as well. So it's just straightforward. So the next uh, uh, option or the next feature is link. If you want to add a link, for example, you just need to press here, like this, and you will. Uh, uh, you can see this is a show up uh, uh, lights. You can see this form showing the link of external URL. You can put an email address. You can link it with a phone number, and you can edit as well. So we we will not add this just uh, for uh, for sake of uh, presentation. So we will say delete link. Okay, the same thing, the, the third option is forms. You can see here, it is very, very uh, easy and very straightforward uh, um, forms that you can use them. For example, if you want to back here and you see, they said request, please tick this, this, uh, this form. So what we have to do is just use this and choose this one. First, for example, if you want to appointment uh, a new supervisor, you can put here. That's it. And if you want to appointment uh, to do a termination, you can put here as well. Okay, you see? That's it. So uh, you just uh, unclick. And now you can see this has been edited. You can move it whatever you want. You can delete it. And you can also rotate it. There's a lot of options uh, that could help you. All right, good. Now, after the, uh, this one, we have images. If you want to add any images, 
you want to do you just add new images over here and you can add images if you want like you want to post your photo if you have a documentation need a photo okay so uh, the, la the, the next one is sign so a signature is also very fundamental in documentation so for example there's a lot of uh, options here and you need to fill for let's say for example you want to do a signature you can go down and you can see there is a signature here the signature icon what we have to do is just you want to do a new signature or you want to do like you already keep your own signature let's say if you want to do a new signature you can type a signature by like your name okay and do it like this okay and you can you can uh, uh, control it like that the size of the signature you want to delete it just press this or you want to uh, using uh, draws you can draw by your hands like this using the mouse for example you save it you keep it here and it has it will be uh, it will be uh, put down here in the signature icon all right so this is uh, this is a very very uh, easy and straightforward uh, option that could helping you to do any uh, signatures uh, and a PDF files and also white out uh, for, for me white out is not really necessary in the meantime because I, I didn't use it too much so I'm just use these uh, uh, options and it will be it was really helpful and uh, you can see uh, the next one is an annotate this is also a good feature that you can use for example you want to hide you want to uh, strike out let's say you have a word you don't like or you want to omit just let's say faculty for example just press like this see it has been labeled here if you want to delete it just to remove it from here if you want to hide it you just click here it will be hide all right good and the same thing with highlight if you want to highlight something a, a text a paragraph you just keep, uh, drag like this and that's it it has been highlighted for example if we want to do some um, corrections for your supervisor or something you can use it also it is very fundamental uh, and very necessary uh, feature you want to do underlying as well here it is very also good to do underlying and uh, after that uh, you want to draw like you want to do some drawings in your hand like that it's all very very fundamental and easy to use you want to do also shapes okay like edge shapes and so on and uh, okay uh, the last the last feature is uh, sorry you need just to click delete you can go to more if you want to do if you do any uh, changes and you want to undo just press undo and you will go back to the drawing for example just now we uh, we delete the drawing we say we we've got selected and you can see uh, uh, drawing has been uh, has been uh, undo okay let's say this one and I will delete it and uh, I will undo it text highlight and and that's it so this is this is the uh, this is what the last change you have done on it and uh, you can do a, a lot undo changes for the, the the things you have done okay all right so uh, after you make all your uh, changes all you need to do right now is just to apply change just press here and after that you will go to, uh, to do the task for you it will not take uh, too much time which is uh, depend also on your uh, PDF file and your changes so for example you can see here it is a, uh, a show up for the text and the changes you have de you have made, and uh, what you have to do right now, after if you check that the, the the PDF files and the changes are already good, you just press download, and that's it. You can go now to the file. It has been downloaded on your desktop. Okay, you can open it again, and you can see that the changes has already done. This is the tick. This is uh, this is the name and 
the list of the changes you want to add. You can do the same and also you can see here the signature and so on. Alright, so um, that's all I have for today. I hope this video was uh, useful for all of you. Uh, please share and subscribe with your friends and uh, subscribe also to the channel so you can get any new updates related with research and related with uh, academia. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day.